Hello, my name is Arindam Bose, and I'm an associate professor at TISS Mumbai's Center of Excellence in Teacher Education. Now I'm going to talk about our very specialized program for working professionals called Masters in Education Elementary, M-A-E-E. -E. This is special and this is one of its kind in the country where we try to build a perspective on education for those who are coming from the field, having a couple of years of experience, uh, or even sometimes people who like to shift, uh, do a you know, career shift, a mid-career shift, or someone who is working in some NGO or some organization, school teacher, who now want to have a perspective about education. That apart, we also welcome freshers in any having done undergraduation or master's degree in any subject to take up this program, M-A-E-E. -E. As I said, this is special. What makes this really special is its blended nature. And this has been going on since 2006. The course is for two years, four semesters, and one has to spend every semester a few days on campus for the contact period, where we teach the courses for that semester in an in-person mode, in the face-to-face -face mode. And this contact period is usually for 10 days every semester. So one has to be on the, semester, on the campus for 10 days, and the rest of the semester, the classes happen in an online mode, usually in the evenings, so that those who are working can work during the day and in the evenings, we hold classes for them. So this is the nature of, 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 its, of this blended program, you know, partly online and partly in person. There are four semesters, as I said, and altogether it caters to 66 credits, including a mandatory six credit field engagement which we call as field attachment, which is essentially a proto-research, which every student of this program has to undertake, uh, typically in the second year, and the report is then published in the final semester. Courses like philosophy of education, history of education, sociology of education, child cognition development and learning, policy institutions and practices, curriculum and school, language, mind, and society. Generally, these are compulsory papers one has to take with any other optional paper. The optional subjects come from two different baskets. One is a thematic basket, and one is a pedagogic basket. One has to choose one paper each from each of these baskets. The thematic basket generally contains subjects like teacher professional development, ICT and new media, then gender and education, then material design and development, education, leadership and management. And the pedagogy basket generally contains pedagogy subjects like first language pedagogy, pedagogy of science, pedagogy of social sciences, and pedagogy of mathematics. One has to take one from, one, one from these four pedagogy subjects. So altogether, one has to take one optional paper from the thematic basket and one optional paper from the pedagogy basket and other compulsory courses, plus the field attachment, which is the research dissertation. So all these together cater for 66 credits. Each subject has a five credit load. So altogether, one has to take 12 subjects. So that makes 60 plus the field attachment, which is of six credit worth. So this is the structure of the program. Our ex-students who have taken this program have succeeded in, uh, you know, many of them have succeeded in going for higher education in various places across the globe, popularly in the UK, Oxford University, Stanford University, Teachers College Columbia in the US and so on and so forth, in Singapore, in South Africa, you know, elsewhere. But there are also many other, you know, eminent uh, personalities in various organizations uh, serving 
for education and society and development who are you know graduates of MAE program you know and settled and actually doing cutting edge work in their own fields so MAE program has really marked uh, you know its uh, impact and which is visible on the ground to get into this program one has to appear at CUET the central university entrance test which will be scheduled in the month of march but the deadline of applications is 31st january 2024 one has to appear at in in the paper coqp 11 after the written test results are declared a screening is done then interviews will take place based on which final merit merit list will be prepared you know taking into consideration the written exam as well as the interviews so mae a program admission is a like admission to any other program in tss what makes it more special and different is its blended nature so we try to focus on perspective building around education and this is certainly not a teacher formation degree this is more to build a perspective and understanding of education and development all the best looking forward to having many of you in this program this year thank you very much